How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I'm a first year Canadian medical school student. I post here on the channel once a week talking about my journey to medical school, my journey here being in medical school, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But today, we've got some big news. Basically, due to the whole COVID situation, there have been a few changes to the MCAT for this year. And I know there's a few of you right now, at least a few of you that are studying for the MCAT. So I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know about the changes to the MCAT in this video. Also, just know that this is a rapidly changing situation. Today is April 26, 2020, and everything that we're gonna be talking about is relevant up until today. Moving forward, if you want access to the most current information, always go and check directly with the AAMC's website. I'm gonna link that in the description below. So first things first, for those of you that aren't aware yet, all of the MCAT exams up until May 29 have been cancelled for this year. The official current MCAT examination schedule is going to run from April 29 to September 28 as is scheduled right now. The MCAT exam is such an important part of the current medical school admissions process because it helps admissions committees to differentiate um, different applicants based on a numerical score. And for that reason, all of the applicants who were scheduled to write before the May 29th test date have been recently scheduled to later on in the summer. And as a result of them needing to take a larger number of examinees and place them in a smaller window of time, the MCAT test has been reduced in time from around a seven and a half hour exam total sitting time to just around five hours and 45 minutes. They cut the time pretty drastically. So one of the big questions that I've been getting in the last few days is how they were able to take a seven and a half hour test and turn it into roughly about five hours and 45 minutes. And what we're gonna do first is take a quick look at the new MCAT's breakdown. So in comparing the recent changes to the MCAT for this year compared to last year's test, what we see is there's still the exact same four sections. For the chemistry and physics section, we have 48 questions and a time limit of 76 minutes. For the optional break right after, that's 10 minutes. Then we have the car section, which has also been reduced to 48 questions, but you're allowed 81 minutes um, to do it. Then you have your mid-exam break, which is now 10 minutes. You have your bio section after that, which is again 48 questions and 76 minutes. Then you have another optional break of 10 minutes. And then finally, you have the psychology and sociology section, um, which is 48 questions and 76 minutes. After that, you have your void option, which asks whether or not you actually want to have this particular MCAT test scored. It was reduced from five minutes to two minutes, which gives you a lot less time to decide. Now, in addition to these changes of the actual MCAT test format, there's also going to be some changes at the test centers. Students are going to have access to hand sanitizer. They're also going to be allowed to bring in personal protective gear like uh, masks um, and gloves. Now, the major takeaways from the revised MCAT schedule is that the intro and tutorials in the very beginning of the MCAT have been affected removed in this case. Also, 11 questions and 19 minutes have been removed from each of the physics and chemistry section, the bio section, and the psych section. And the way that they were able to do this supposedly is by taking out a lot of the questions that were always a part of the MCAT but weren't actually marked. For those of you that didn't know that before, there were always questions in the MCAT which are kind of tester questions. They leave them in there but they don't actually count towards your final score. They're used as indicators for future questions perhaps in the uh, test next year. There were also five questions and that's basically one passage that was removed from the car section compared to last year's test. And finally, the mid-exam break has been shortened by 20 minutes. Basically, you don't get an entire lunch break anymore. It's a 10 minute break, the same as all the other optional breaks are within the exam. So now, how do these changes affect you, the student that's actually going in to write the MCAT test this year, if that's something that you planned on doing? One of the concerns that I've gotten from students so far is that because now there are less questions per section, some students have thought that maybe if you get a question wrong, there's less room for error. Therefore, if I get one question wrong, my score is going to fall a lot more now than it did last year. However, this is not the case. And the reason being is because the MCAT test is a standardized test, which means that your score is based in relation to everyone else who writes the test. Because everyone is now operating under the exact same rules, and that is that there are now the exact same amount of questions that are reduced for everyone, Theoretically, the standardized scores should not change. You should still get an accurate representation of your score compared to if you just wrote the test last year. On the other hand though, one major upside of this new format of the MCAT for this year is that more than an hour has been subtracted from the total exam time. Now to anyone who has written the old version of the MCAT um, from 2015 onwards, the seven and a half hour test, you know that when the last section comes, especially that psychology section, your energy levels are super low. You've been sitting down in your chair for a long time. You've 
you've been answering a lot of questions and it gets harder and harder to focus as the test goes on. That was one of the most challenging parts of the MCAT for a lot of students. Now because the MCAT is shorter, for a lot of people this will actually be a very big advantage and it could be a very interesting opportunity especially for a lot of you students that struggle with exam fatigue. The last concern that I've gotten from a lot of students so far is that because this is a relatively new change to the MCAT, there aren't many practice tests or resources out there that are going to be able to exactly simulate this type of test scenario. Now as far as I can see, that's actually true and as far as that point goes, there aren't going to be a lot of practice resources out there right now that perfectly simulate this type of test experience. However, all of the questions are going to be based on the exact same material. The actual layout of the exam in terms of what is tested, um, in terms of knowledge on the exam, hasn't changed at all. And for that reason, if you just go ahead and prepare for this test in the exact same way that you were doing before, I am sure that you guys are going to do just fine. If you guys need help um, in preparing for the exam, I have some videos up on the channel talking about the MCAT. I'm also going to be doing a few more in the really near future talking about physics, chem, psych, all these different things. Um, and leave me a question below if you want me to talk about anything specific. Alright guys, and those are all the changes to the MCAT as of right now, but again, I am going to link the official website in the description below, so be sure to stay up to date with everything as it comes out, and I'll try my hardest to keep this channel updated as well. Now, I know that uncertainty is never a good thing, especially when it comes to something as stressful as the MCAT exam, but guys, it's just the hand that we've been dealt right now. It's up to us to roll with the punches and make sure that we're just doing everything that we can to make the best out of a not-so-ideal situation. But I hope this video was able to help. Remember to keep working hard, keep studying hard, having fun whenever you can. And we'll see you all in the next one. Everyone take care.